Hi dear students, hope you all are keeping fine, stay home and stay safe. Today we are going to discuss about DBMS concepts. As a basic concept, we can take two management systems. One is relational database management system and other one is object database management system. These are the two basic concepts of DBMS. Asset property. What is asset property? The acronym stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. Atomicity means success or failure. For example, when we update a database or a data, two things can happen. One is it can commit, means successful updating, or it may be aborted. The updation may be failed. So this is known as atomicity. Consistency. It ensures that the changes in the data value to be constant at any given instance. Means the value what we are entering should be constant. It should be a valued one, constant one. This property helps in successful transition. When we are updating or when we are entering a particular data, into the database in order to get a successful transition consistency is very important isolation property is needed during concurrent transition what is concurrent transition multiple users use the same object or data at the same time which is known as what concurrent transition. The same data is being used by multiple number of people at the same time. So if you want to make the transition easier, the isolation property is needed. Okay, so concurrent transition is nothing but multiple users doing the transition by accessing the same object at the same time. It is known as concurrent transition. To prevent the conflict in the database update, the transactions are isolated from other users and serialized. This is known as degree of consistency. So, in order to avoid the conflict, conflict means a confusion. When the database is updated, we can just isolate the data from the users and it can be given later. Durability is defined as the system's ability to recover all committed transactions during the failure of storage or the system. So durability is nothing but ensuring the security of the data. Even if the system gets failed, you can recover it, or recover all the transactions or the, all the updated successful data from the system or the storage. So dear students, next concurrency control and locking. It is the DPMS mechanism used for sharing data. So just before we discussed that when the same data is shared by many people, a proper access control is needed and a privilege of changing the application's data items is controlled through locking. So what is locking is the access control and privilege of changing the application's data item is, con is controlled through locking. Locking is a technique of controlling the privilege and access control. 
next we are going to see about database models that are used in DBMS. First model is hierarchical database model. In this model, each record has information in parent-child relationship like a tree structure. So whenever a hierarchy database is formed, all the data will be having a relationship. So it is just like a parent-child relationship and the structure is shown as a tree structure. The collection of records was called as record types which are equivalent to tables. So when, when we look into a table, how the record is, we will have lot of records there. So collection of records is like a table. In a table, each row gives us a complete record of an individual person or product. So a row will be giving you the individual record of a person or a product. What are the advantages of database model? So database model is less redundant, efficient in searching, data integrity and security. These are the advantages of hierarchical database model. This model is having some limitations such as it's very difficult to implement, complex to implement, difficult in handling many-to-many -many relationship. So a single one-to-one -one relationship is very easy in hierarchical database model. But it is difficult when it comes to many-to-many -many relationship. Let us see the hierarchical model. So now here we have a hierarchical model. Just take uh, the school. We can divide it into management, teaching staff, not teaching staff. Again, teaching staff can be divided into lady staff and staff like that. Not teaching also can be divided like that. Management can be again divided into administration, academic. So this is a model what we can show as a hierarchical database model. So it each one is having a relationship between the other. So such a model is a tree structure or a parent relationship. Okay, so this model is hierarchical database model. So thank you students. Have a nice day. Stay home and stay safe.